calling, finding, and localizing cache that channel vulnerabilities in production software. Uh, this is a joint work done with uh, Jibo and my supervisor, Shui. Uh, from software perspective, the root cause of a cache that channel leakage is a secret dependent data access or control branch. For example, in this case, the variable key is a secret. The address of this memory read uh, is decided by the variable key. When the value is turned, uh, the second cache line is accessed. And similarly, if k equals 50, the last, the last cache line will be accessed. As a result, by observing which cache line is accessed, attackers can infer the value of k. In the past 10 years, many tools have been, have been designed to detect the, uh, cache side channel leakage. Uh, for example, cache audit measures the upper bound of a side channel leakage which means it, it can prove a program is side channel free. The majority of these works check if a program has side channel leakage during its execution and localize the one bar program point. There are also other works that conduct qualitative analysis. Uh, besides checking if there, are side channel, if there are side channel leakage, they also quantify uh, how much information is leaked uh, through side channels. Uh, some recent works focus on a new type of secret, user input or media data, such as images or audios. Actually, these, these data are very complex and are modeled differently with private keys. Well, even though we already have lots of tools, uh, they still have some limitations. For example, the scalability of, of some tools are quite limited, and some tools can only be applied to certain specific software. So, how to design a fully fledged side channel detector. By studying existing works, we summarize eight criteria for designing uh, side channel detection tools. Here I only list uh, all of them, and uh, you can find more explanations for them in our paper. And uh, in this work, we propose a tool named the CacheQL that satisfies all the eight requirements. The Q here refers to quantitative analysis, and um, the L indicates uh, localizing vulnerable program points. So due, due to the limited time, uh, I will mainly introduce how we achieve quantitative analysis and localizing leakage sites. Uh, for other points, you can find more details in our paper. Uh, given a secret key, and uh, suppose it leads to side channel observation O, the information of K leaked, leaked in O can be quantified using their mutual information. Here, the H uh, denotes entropy, which reflects the uncertainty. The mutual information actually quantifies how much uncertainty is reduced given side channel observations. Uh, let's consider this example. The secret S evenly distributes among 0, 1, 2, 3. The probability of correctly guessing its value is 1 over 4. So the uncertainty of the information of S is actually 2 bits. Suppose through side channel observations, we know that uh, uh, the if condition is satisfied, then we know that uh, the value of S must be zero. So the uncertainty is reduced to zero, and the side channel leakage is two bits. Our previous works estimates the mutual information using sampling. Uh, actually, three problems exist in such method. First, the computing cost is very high. Every time when you analyze a new secret, you need, you need to reduce the sampling. And also, the imprecision of sampling may introduce a large estimation errors. And moreover, there are coverage issues when doing sampling. The sampling must cover all leakage sites to give a precise estimation of mutual information. Uh, to alleviate uh, the ball problems, uh, we find that uh, with some transformations shown here, the mutual information is only decided by, uh, by conditional probability I marked here. Uh, the conditional probability describes for a secret K star and uh, its derived side channel observation O star, how likely they could occur in practice. Note that the O star can be observed given another different K, so the probability of their co-occurrence is not always 100%. Uh, computing conditional probability can save the cost because it is a one-time effort. And also in general, the conditional probability reflects how many records in O star are affected by K star and uh, to what extent K star affects each record in O star. 
uh, this actually can principally alleviate the estimation error and the coverage issue. Uh, consider this example. If, uh, uh, if I want to quantify the leakage with sampling, uh, I need to cover all the eight cases here. But uh, by using conditional probability, I can know that whenever the secrets S increases one, the, in the array index also increases one. Uh, the program can behavior can be inferred as showing this figure. Actually, um, to infer this program behavior, I don't need to cover all the eight cases. We use our tool to quantify the leakage for many different softwares, including crypto software like OpenSSL and also image processing libraries such as libgpg. Uh, in this presentation, I will mainly show the results for different RIC implementations. Uh, we consider different granularities of set channel observations and also different execution stages of this software, such as a pre-processing stage or decryption stage. Uh, we also compare the leakage of enabling versus disabling crypto, crypto blending, and we also compare the leakage among different versions of this software. Uh, some findings are actually very straightforward. Uh, uh, more fine-grained set channel observations have more leaks, and uh, crypto blending can significantly reduce the leakage. Also, uh, usually, in new versions of this software, they have less leaks. Uh, and we find that uh, the pre processing modules in this software have a considerable amount of leakage. This, this processing module includes those who encode or decode the key write from user's files, uh, those functions that uh, initialize big numbers for, for the computations. Uh, to study the differences between leakage among different versions of the same software, we manually checked their implementations. Um, the reduced leaks uh, are mainly due to two reasons. We found that uh, there are more constant time implementations in new versions of this software, and uh, the computing routines also change in different versions. Uh, some of the changes are for reducing leakage, uh, but uh, some of them are only for optimization purpose. On the other hand, there are also some regression issues. Uh, that is, more, more leakage are introduced into the new versions. Such, extra, uh, such additional leaks are actually mainly caused by the change in the computation routines. Uh, to localize the vulnerable program points, we apportion the quantified leakage among records in one trace or set channel observation. Uh, if the apportioned leakage for one record is greater than zero, then its corresponding instruction is secret dependent. The apportionment can be, can be done by computing the Shapley value for, for each set channel record. Actually, the, the Shapley value is a well-formulated solution in game theory. In, our, in other words, we can view the leakage over one set channel trace as a, cooperative, as a cooperative game among all its records. And the Shapley value of each record quantifies how many bits a record contributes to the overall leakage. But the problem is uh, the complexity of computing Shapley value is exponential to the number of records in one set channel observation trace. Uh, which is uh, infeasible to computing practice. But fortunately, we can reduce the cost to several hundred in magnitude by utilizing two key properties of set channel records. Uh, first, uh, in a set channel trace, not all records are correlated, and uh, many records actually do not contribute to leaks. By utilizing these two properties, we, we indeed uh, reduce the uh, computation cost we, we introduced reduced loss of the computation cost. And uh, we use our tool to localize the one program points in different crypto software. And uh, we actually found a few hundreds of new leakage sites. And many of them are in the pre-processing pre modules. This is actually the first time these modules are com comprehensively studied. Previous tools uh, are unable to analyze the whole precise of this software, of this software because uh, uh, their scalability is very limited. Uh, we give a full list of our findings at this website, and uh, you can see all of them by scanning this QR code. Uh, to, better under, to better understand our localized, localized leakage sites, we categorize them uh, into five categories. The first two describes when the leakage occurs, 
And the last two describes how the secrets are leaked during the program's execution. We also additionally list the third category, leaking leading zeros, because in modern crypto software, uh, the big number computation often skips the leading zero for speed up. Actually, this optimization introduced uh, a, considerable amount, uh, a considerable amount of leakage into this software. Uh, these five types of leakage exist in the whole life cycle of modern crypto software. Uh, for example, in, in this function, this function is a preprocessing function that decodes the secret key right from user's file. The control branch uh, here depends on each four bits of the, of the secret key. So there's a considerable amount of leakage. And uh, after decoding the key, the program then initializes big numbers for later computations. During the initialization, the number of leading zeros of each big number is leaked. And later, when doing uh, decryption using these big numbers, there are many control branches that depend on the key bits. Uh, for example, in the 20th line in the middle figure, and also in the left figure, the memory read in the 17th line also depends on the value of the key bits. Uh, to summarize, in this work, we propose eight criteria to design a fully fledged set channel detection tools, and we propose a tool named CacheQL that satisfies all eight requirements. And uh, to quantify the information leakage inside a channel, we use mutual information, and uh, uh, we also we also propose some optimizations on the computation of mutual information to reduce the cost and the estimation errors. And uh, to quantify the one bar program points, we use Shapley value. But uh, uh, the computation of Shapley value is infeasible. Based on, uh, oh, but however, uh, based on some key properties of side channel records, we, 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 reduce, uh, uh, we reduce the cost to, to a magnitude of a few hundred. And uh, we find um, a few hundreds of vulnerable program points in modern crypto software, and we categorize them into five categories. Okay, thank you, everyone. Um, I'm open to any questions. <laughs>